Okie dokie. In this problem, to summarize this, we are given a function g1 of t and g2 of t, and they both play into the overall growth of the plant. Keep in mind, h prime represents the rate of change of the height. And therefore, if they want us to determine the actual plant's height from the rate of change, it's integrating or taking the antiderivative of the rate of change of the height that will give us the height. And then we might have to add a plus c, and then we'll have to use the initial height, like we have been doing, the initial value um, to solve for c. Once we have c, then we'll plug in t equals 5, and then we'll be done. So let's talk about what h prime is first. So h prime is 0 0.3 times g1, which they tell us is 2, and then plus g2, which is sine of 2t. So I'm taking 2 and plugging it in here, taking sine of 2t, plugging it in here to have h prime, right? So maybe to simplify this a little bit, we have 0 0.6 plus sine of 2 t. Now, again, we are finding the antiderivative or the integral of the rate of change of h or h prime. So if we take the antiderivative, we will get 0.6 t and then plus the antiderivative of positive sine is negative cosine of 2t. And then because the inside is 2t, we must divide by 2 because we're always dividing by whatever the derivative of the inside is in these cases. And then we say plus c. So our potential height equation is this. So all we need to do now is use the initial height of 2 centimeters to solve for c, and then we'll plug in 5 to this complete function, and then we'll have our height. So if the initial height is 2, that means that h equals 2 when time equals 0, or initially, right? And so if we plug in 0 to t, we're plugging in 0 here and here. And I'm running out of space, so let me move this one down. We'll deal with this one later. Let's move it way down over top that one. That's fine. All right. And so we are plugging in 2 for h and 0 for t. Plugging in 0 for t here will make this whole first term 0. Plugging in 0 inside the cosines, t, will make this cosine of 0 over 2 and then plus c. 2 is equal to negative cosine of 0. Well, cosine of 0 is 1. So we have negative 1 over 2 plus c. We add this one half to the other side, and we have 2.5 or 5 halves is equal to c. So we have our c value as positive 5 over 2 now. So we have our complete height function in terms of t. So now to determine the plant's height at 5, we just plug in 5 wherever we see t. So h of 5 equals something. So let's open up desmos to talk through this calculation so again plugging in the value of 5 in place of t to this function we have boxed off that is h so we have 0.6 times 5 minus cosine of 2 times 5 divided by 2 plus 5 over 2. And we get 5.91 or 5.92 if we round. So option C is our best answer. All right. Let's go ahead and do one or two more examples here. So again, we're plugging in 2 for G1 and cosine of 64 g2 and so we'll have 
h prime again is 0 0.6 plus now cosine of 6 t. Take the antiderivative and we find that h is equal to 0 0.6 t plus cosine, so the antiderivative of positive cosine is positive sine of 6t. And then kind of the pattern is we divide by that 6, or the derivative of the inside of the parentheses. Tack on plus c. Use the initial height of 2, which means when t equals 0, the height is 2. So h equals 2, t equals 0, so this goes to 0. We plug in 0 into the sine, so 6 times 0 is 0, and then divide by 6 plus c. Uh, so sine of 0 is actually also 0. So this whole term goes to 0, and we're just left with 2 equals c. So then we plug the 2 in place of the c, and we have this height equation complete. So now we just plug in 5 to this equation. So opening up Desmos, 0. 0.6 times 5 again, plus, in this case, sine of 6 times 5, divided by 6, I believe, and then plus our C value of 2. As a result, we get 4.8, which looks like option A. So we break out the eraser to see that A is our answer. Let's go and do one more as fast as we can. And so excuse the overlappage here. This is from a different problem. All right, so we're checking out this one. Uh, again, same process, plugging in 3 to G1 in this whole G2 into G2. So H prime equals 0.3 times 3, so 0.9 plus t squared over 4 plus t over 6. Taking the integral or antiderivative of both sides, we get h equals 0 0.9t plus t cubed over 3, but the 4 also stays in the denominator. 3 times 4 is 12, plus t goes to t squared over 2. But 6 was already in the denominator, so that stays. And then 2 times 6 is 12. Add C. And now we solve for C using the initial height, the initial condition of 3 centimeters. Which means when T equals 0, H is 3. So we plug in 3 for H and 0 for T. This goes to 0. This goes to zero, and this goes to zero. Then we have plus c, so all we find is that three equals c. Plug in three for c. We have our complete height, height equation. Now we're plugging in five wherever we see t. 0.9 times five plus five cubed over 12 plus 5 squared over 12, and then I think plus 3. So we get 20, exactly. And it looks like option C is our best answer. Hope this process makes sense. If you have any questions on it, please let me know.